What we just saw is so disturbing not only as women but also as a human in general. How can someone be so cruel that they can do such a monstrous thing to another person? If facts are to be believed then every day 87 rape cases are reported in India. And those are the only cases which are reported. So many cases are there which doesn't even get reported and go unnoticed. It is also said that in every 16 minutes, one rape case is filed in India. It is so terrifying to see that out of 64 countries, India stands on 60th rank on security and safety. And also India is also known as fifth dangerous country for women. And this is the country where we stay. Why aren't we safe in our own country? Be it the Nirbhaya case or even the lady doctor who was murdered and raped in Hyderabad or even we can take the recent Hathras case. These are just the tip of an iceberg and there are so many cases which are not even registered or just goes unnoticed. Who gives them the right to just ruin the other person or destroy the person's life? So in this video, I am not trying to target any kind of community, system, country, state, caste, creed or gender. But I am just trying to express what I feel being a woman staying away from my home. Our country is progressing in a very high speed and obviously for sure women has an important role in that. But at the same time, all the news like this just demoralizes us and just demotivates us to the core. On the one frame, we are shown as the torch bearers of the country and at the same time, we are treated just like toys. In a country where women are worshipped as goddesses, at the same time, the rape cases of that country is increasing like anything and that's quite an irony for the country. So my question to you all is that are women only safe as an idol in any religious place? I have seen many videos and even read many articles wherein women are blamed for the rapes that happen. They pinpoint on the dress we wear or the size of the dress or the time we go out. To be honest, everything a woman does. I don't know how much these things lead to rape but when I hear some cases like this, I start questioning the same reasons which were given to be raped. All the points seem so baseless because whether a woman is married or unmarried, whether she is wearing a short dress or in burqa, they are being raped in India. Because according to me, the monstrous mind does not leave any girl. I can even give my own example right here because whenever I wear a short dress and just walk down the road, I will be stared like anything like I feel that I am walking naked on the road. And I feel maybe it's because of the dress people are staring at me. But when I go to my college in full formal dress or even in kurta, I will be stared. So is it the size of the dress that matters or the mentality of the person matters? And also I feel our judiciary system is so slow in punishing the criminal and the culprit and I feel the culprit is not rightly punished in our country and it's such a sword to an injury to the people or the family who is the victim. After the incident happens, the culprit or the rapist just walks freely in the society as if nothing happened and they don't even have a pinch of guilt in them. But the family and the girl has to go through such a mental trauma during this time. I just feel it's so unfair because they are the one who is suffering but it seems like the culprit suffers less than the victim. And also the system just motivates the monster out there to do the things and keep doing what they do and just ruin another person's life. I just want to say that the victim may or may not survive the physical rape. But the mental rape she and her whole family goes through just haunts them for the entire lifetime which is so depressing for them and the entire family. So my question to you all is don't you feel it's so unfortunate to see the victim suffering more than the culprit? And don't you feel the system just motivates the other monstrous mind because they know that nothing is gonna change and nothing is gonna happen to them. I personally feel that rape is not a gender problem but it is the problem and the sickness in the mentality of the society and the person. 
and if we talk in general rape is not the only thing that women suffer one day or the other we keep seeing women getting accused assaulted raped acid attacked pregnant lady getting ripped or cut a married woman getting beaten by her husband or her in-laws just for the dowry i just want to ask you guys till when do we suffer kab tak don't you feel the way the society perceives the matters like sex and periods needs to be changed at least now i'm not even saying that women are superior to men but the women who takes care of the family and also gives birth to another generation are their lives so invaluable are their lives so worthless that anyone can play with them i don't know what's right or wrong but being a woman i feel that every rapist out there should be hanged to death without even giving a second thought and i have a small message for all the women out there dear women do not stop dreaming because of some monsters out there just live your dream and just be prepared for anything because there is no one who can save us from anything it's only you who can save yourself because this country was unsafe for us and will always remain unsafe for us so be prepared for yourself and to all the people out there with the monstrous thought a no from a woman is a no just keep that in mind